Eleven people have either been pardoned or had their sentence commuted by President Trump, most of them white-collar criminals with personal or financial ties to the president, and that includes a former governor who's now out of prison years ahead of schedule. ABC's Trevor Alt has our story. President Trump announcing pardons Tuesday for nearly a dozen criminals, many of whom are guilty of white-collar crimes or corruption. I'm allowed to be totally involved. I'm actually, I guess, the chief law enforcement officer of the country. Now out of prison, his sentence commuted disgraced former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich. The one-time apprentice contestant was eight years into a 14-year sentence for trying to sell the former Senate seat of Barack Obama. The Democrat now grateful for his freedom. How do you properly thank someone who's given you back the freedom that was stolen from you? I'm a Trumpocrat. Blagojevich, one of 11 people receiving pardons or having their sentences commuted by the president, who said he made the decisions based on recommendations from friends and associates, like personal attorney Rudy Giuliani, Giuliani's former New York City Police Commissioner Bernie Carrick, convicted of tax fraud, received a pardon. As did former San Francisco 49ers owner Eddie DeBartolo Jr., who pleaded guilty in 1998 to concealing an alleged extortion plot. He co-hosted a pre-inauguration party before President Trump took office. Also pardoned construction magnate Paul Pogue, who pleaded guilty to underpaying taxes. He and his family donating more than $200,000 to Republicans and the president's re-election campaign. The president's decision-making process bypassing the traditional pardon procedures, which usually go through the Justice Department. They're the ones who sit there and they evaluate based on all these factors whether a pardon makes sense. None of that happened here. President Trump has also pardoned multiple women serving years-long sentences for drug charges and when asked if he was going to pardon his longtime friend and advisor Roger Stone when he's sentenced this week, President Trump said he hasn't thought about it yet. Trevor Ault, ABC News, New York.